Go with devotion to the house of pleasure, run the lyrics of this song. There is no sorrow, only happiness. The singer, Paban Das, and his wife, Mimlu Sen, often serenade their neighborhood not far from Kolkata with songs like this from their centuries-old musical tradition known as Baul. I fell in love with Baul songs because of their beautiful lyrics. Later, it was the spiritual depth of Baul songs that impressed me very much. While most of India struggles to escape poverty, Baols embrace it proudly. They converge on the Indian town of Kenduli every year for a massive festival of music, communal begging and sharing of food, and copious inhalation of marijuana smoke, a key component of Baol's spirituality. A Bao has no money to flaunt, and he doesn't need any money. He leads a life full of peace and happiness. He has no material worries. A Bao is possibly one of the happiest men on this earth. The word Bao means madman in Bengali. The music of the Baul tradition is haunted by themes of a constant search for balance between both the pleasures and the dangers of indulging the body. Ordinary people think a Baul is only a beggar who just wants to earn money by entertaining people. That's a completely wrong idea. We have chosen this Baul way of life in search of God and happiness. Historian William Dalrymple raised the profile of the Baals in his global bestseller, Nine Lives. He says they are a unique product of the spiritual crossroads their region has been throughout history. The Baal philosophy derives from the mix of different faiths that pass through, specifically Bengal. There are strong elements of Buddhism, of Tantra, uh, but uh, particularly of Sufi Islam uh, and uh, uh, Vaishnav Hinduism. Dalrymple says the Baal's unorthodoxy has historically pushed their role beyond that of just a minstrel. It crosses over to that of a truth-telling court jester, or, as he labels it, holy fool. Men who defy convention, who speak truth to power, who swear at kings and get away with it, uh, and who have a, a crazy wisdom. Mimlu Sen says Baals see it as their duty to defy convention. Their frankness about the body and human sexuality challenges traditional Indian modesty. Baals also confront the idea of religious orthodoxy itself. The Baals are a counter-religion and they deliberately cross over religions to show that religion is superficial and man-made. And they transmit this message which is that uh, no God exists in any temple, nor any mosque, nor any church. It's the body which is the temple, and the Baal wanders looking for his own reality. Pabandas and Mimlu Sen plan to travel abroad to promote an autobiography and companion music CD they released called The Honey Gatherers a reference to the Baal's nomadic wandering in search of donations. They say Baal music and its message of intense self-knowledge as a path to enlightenment are attracting a new generation of international followers. Kurt Asian Lohagar in the Indian state of West Bengal. Ding, 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 ding.